emotional baby boy. Well, we can't be singing at the beginning of the episode. If you have photosensitivity, maybe just watch the video with your eyes closed. I'm your player one, Tyler. I'm your player two, I'm Nick. I didn't lie to you, I was attacking this guy for the last week straight. It's true, it's been super inconvenient having Tyler in my office just hitting this guy in skate. Yeah. You would not believe your the eyes. excuses that I had fireflies. to give to work for Tyler not showing up for a week. I just had to use PTO, it wasn't that big of a deal. Oh well, yeah, yeah, well it's, I mean, yeah, it's easy for you to say when you could turn over and be like, hey, can you tell the managers that uh, I'm using PTO? And be like, wow, Tyler, you'd almost think this was a no-call, no-show. Here you are just punching a guy. Well, I, I didn't no-call, no-show. I did call. I guess. While I was hitting the guy. Nice. Jason Dill. Dude, yeah, Jason Dill, he's the maker of the pickle. What's the big dill? <laughs> You're so funny, Nick. Uh, you think Rob Deerdeck would be a fun guy to hang out? Uh, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, if I had to Even pick Even though a, he's like 40. If I had to pick a skateboarder to just hang out with, it would be him. Yeah. You know who I wouldn't hang out with? Tony Hawk. Um, well, no, I feel like I'd hang out with Tony Hawk. Even though he made NFTs. Did he? Yeah. I, you know, I, I, I feel like that might not have been his choice. There's a certain point where... Like, as a public figure, your brand becomes, like, it, like your brand escapes you a little bit. So it's like Linus Tech Tips, right? He just retired from, well, as of us recording this, he just retired and he's stepping down from his channel. Damn it. But it's still going to be Linus Tech Tips. Right, kind of like how uh, the future makes sense for this. How Ray William Penis is now a different guy. Wait, really? Yeah, the Ray William Penis. Censor that again, future Nick. Why uh, would you want us to say Ray William Penis on the channel? I do not want it ever to be uttered. Oh, uh, I mean, we've said it before. Yeah, but we made jokes about Ow. how you shouldn't say it before as well. I guess that's true. Um, uh, it's a, it's, it's still an active channel. It's just a completely different guy. Sure. Yeah, that is true. Oh, but it's still the same name. Yeah. That's weird. But yeah, that's what I mean. Like, I, I feel like Tony Hawk's brand certainly has transcended himself. Oh, he's trans? Like, I, yeah. That's nice. You didn't know? No. Uh, yeah. Um, oh, what was I going to say? Oh, I Like, I wouldn't be the least bit surprised if he was like, NFTs? What's that? Some newfangled pictures? Yeah, whatever. That's fine. Like, I, yeah. I, I, I highly doubt that, that he looked into it. Although... His son, who makes uh, hyper pop, music. yeah, his, his his kid who makes hyper pop music oh, might have known. Which if you guys haven't listened to Guppy, if you're into hyper pop, it's worth it's while. Right. Yeah, it's, it's, not, it's, it's not bad. It's not bad hyper pop. It's mostly instrumental. But... Yeah, which if you are just getting into hyper pop, is probably a good place to start. Yeah, that's true. Sometimes the vocals are a little grating. Yeah, they can be. What do I? How do I beat that 856? That was really strong. Yeah. Woo! Oh, oh the sketchy landing. The sketchy nice. landing. Could you? Nice. That was it. Nice. <laughs> I only beat it by <laughs> nine or eight points, though. Wow, we. Whoa, whoa. Nice. That was a cooler trick. Can we? <laughs> I know that we had talked about this last video, but can we make? What just happened? Uh, I... uh, we didn't talk about this. We talked about the the topic last video. Can we make a shirt that says, ask me about my yaks? I really don't want to. <laughs> if you guys want the yak shirt, post in the comments. If you, if you say you want the yak shirt and you don't buy the yak shirt, I'm going to come to your house and make you buy more. I will run make at, you buy one. I will run at you like a cryptid. <laughs> I'll, I'll pull my hands up and go, Hair! And I'll run at you really fast. <laughs> I don't know why that reminded me of the the, uh, the clip from Smiling Friends of the dude, the Jeremy, when he's in hell, like the demon oh, creature that's like, <laughs> yeah, and he's, like he's just like putting his fingers in his face. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good show. I need to watch that again. Uh, like, dude, if you keep doing that, I'm going to punch you in the throat. What just happened? <laughs> that was terrifying. That was really scary. <laughs> Uh-oh, spooky. Uh-oh, stinky. 
Uh oh, spooky. Nick, what's your favorite cryptid? Mm, you know, I do have a lot of love for. It. It is is nice. Is Slenderman a cryptid? No. Okay. He's an urban legend. Yeah, it's an internet yeah. urban legend. Yeah. My favorite cryptid. Okay, so I'm a big fan of the skunk ape. Really? Yeah. I'm not a fan. He's an underappreciated cryptid. I am not a fan of any of the Bigfoot variants. Got him. Um, I just thought it was an interesting twist, like a swamp Bigfoot, basically, swamp which I thought foot. was cool. Yeah. Yeah, it's, they call him Swamp Feet sometimes. Yeah. It's always confusing to people because they always think he's talking about a swamp meat, but he's not. It's just Why his, would it's they just be his, talking about that? It's just his name. Because he, kept, cause he keeps say, he say, he's saying Swamp Feet. Uh huh. And people think he's saying Swamp Meat. Oh, I get it because yeah. it sounds Woo! like. Sick. Yeah. Um, I need to do some Tony Hawk axe tricks. Okay, um. That was pretty Tony Hawk, if I, you ask me. Yeah, I know. I only have 15 seconds left to get a thousand points. You got it. You did, did it. it. <laughs> you've done. You've done it. Uh, I would. So it's either the skunk ape or um. Oh no! But well, that's okay because you won two out. Oh. Oh, did somebody beat me? Just at the last. Oh second. my yeah. god, that's annoying. Unfortunately. Wow. I'm kind of forgetting a lot. I also like Mothman because he's like a good, like a benevolent cryptid. Yeah, it's most like of the it's time. like uh, the uh, the Absol of the cryptid universe. Yeah, yeah, he's just misunderstood. Yeah. Uh, um, my favorite is probably the Jersey the, Devil. No, it's the fur-bearing trout. Oh, that's a good one too. I love the fur-bearing trout. Yeah, I like also a love a Suchinoko. I think they would be friends. I think they probably yeah they probably would be friends. Um, they're just both I'm weird like, little I'm like guys. lost my. Let me look up a list of cryptids because I feel like there's cryptid. one. I feel like there's a guy I'm forgetting. What Nessie? Well, no. I, 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 I do like Nessie. I, I really enjoyed the idea of Nessie, especially as a kid, right? Do you prefer um, Nessie or Champ? Um, actually, I do... I, Okay, I prefer Nessie because I think Champ is a dumb name. I'll admit it. I understand that it's named because of Lake Champlain. Yeah, I get it. That was a... You cut it real close there. I sure did. Did you hear that guy, like, yell? Yeah, dude. He was like, yo, that was sick! <laughs> but he, he did it all in just like one ape like sound. That guy just really ch like chumped me into that uh, hole really hard. Um, let's see. Um, let's see. Ow! Um, oh! God, Nick! What? What about Wendy Go? Oh, I love Wendy Go. I just can't say that in front of certain people. <laughs> Why? <laughs> because I have a girlfriend. Oh, you I understand. Get it. Yeah, you understand. Yeah, yeah. The megalodon is not a okay. This is a dumb list. Well, the megalodon. So the megalodon is a cryptid in the same way that Nessie is a cryptid. Oh, it's like it's a it's a like, largely extinct creature. It, it is it is a creature that existed in the time of the dinosaurs that some people believe still exists. Sure. Okay. Much Ooh, like how Nessie is just a plesiosaur. Um yeah. Um Michigan Dogman's always an interesting oh, one. Yeah, you gotta oh. love the Michigan Dogman and the Melonheads. Yeah. The, but that's because you're from Michigan. If you don't, you're you're a fake Michigander. The Mongolian Death Worm was always kinda interesting yeah. to me. Yeah, okay. Um, I guess if I had to pick a, a favorite. God, it's so hard. So many of them are cool. Why is um, guy not yeah, there we go. Uh Thunderbird is also kinda cool. You think so? Yeah. I mean, he's, uh, he's like, obviously the most easily disprovable. <laughs> yeah, like... <laughs> he's he's the easily the most disprovable cryptid there is, but... He's disprovable in the same way that Mothman is, and it's just by proving that people have absolutely no way of judging scale yeah. when they don't have anything to compare it to. A hundred percent. Like when something is in the sky. Correct. Yeah, well, I mean, and, and like, here's also the thing you gotta think about, right? Like... Thousands and thousands of years ago, motherfuckers didn't have anything better to do than go wander in the wilderness until they saw shit. I mean, for crap's sake, there's entire cultures, like Native American culture, not that there isn't like 
isn't like a uh, credence to having like your own spirituality and whatever, but like the basis of a vision quest, right, is to go out into the wilderness uh, without food or water until you start to see things. And that's like the same thing, like, that's like the same, not to discredit anything, right? Like, believe what you believe, no disrespect. But like, that's the same basis as uh, like the guy who like walked back from the desert in in uh, uh, like Jerusalem or whatever. And it was like, hey, yo, God is real. Like, yeah, you know what I mean? Like you're walking in a desert for, for, for days on end. And he's like, yeah, I saw this bush catch fire and it told me God was real. And uh, I just, I think you guys are going to want to sit down for what I'm about to tell you. You know what I mean? Like, and, and, and that, that applies to all things, not just spirituality, like cryptids, all aliens. Oh, hey, like... you better kill your son about it too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. By, by the way, uh, what I'm talking about here, you can only get on the ground floor if you kill your son about it. I was not going to kill him. I was going to sacrifice him. There is a tremendous difference. By, by, by the by. By the by. Why don't you do one of the one of the little tricky jobs here? One of the little tricky quests. Yeah, like that guy over there. Sure, I'll do the contest. Yeah. Is it a contest? Yeah, this one's a contest. Conchest. Can't you see it? Can't you see it? Can't you see it? Yeah. Oh, I need to do a best grind and then oh. a best trick and then another best trick. I forgot. I forgot. Uh, a a skater I would certainly not hang out with. Oh yeah. Uh, Bam Margera. Why? Oh, He's oh, really going through it, and I don't think I could tell him. I I don't think I have anything to say that would prevent him from doing more drugs. That's I fair. Would, I would. So you mean like right now? I would be. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I would be. Um. I would be the worst enabler for the guy. Okay. And, and you'd be—I don't know if you'd be the worst enabler. Would you like tell him to go do more drugs? Well, I'd be you're like, like, man, Bam, you seem to be having a bad day. How about you just go do some crystal meth about that it? That was a misplay right there, but I believe you can come back from it. Nice. I sure can. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't. I don't. I don't know if I'd be like, hey, go do some crystal meth about it, but I'd be like, you know what? You know what, Bam Margera? I would never recommend this to anybody, but you of all people look like you could really go for some cocaine right now. You really. <laughs> <laughs> I, and I know what a man who eats cocaine looks like. And he looks like you. It looks a lot like uh, Future Nick. Put up a picture of Bam Margera. Yeah, nice. Now put up a picture of Phil Margera. Now put up a picture of Bam Bam from the Flintstones. <laughs> <laughs> now put up a picture of, the, of, of Flint, Michigan. Oh, gross. Thank you. Thank you. Ow. Nice. Did you know that uh, Flint, Detroit, Lansing, and Grand Rapids are all on the uh, like top 100 list of worst places to live in the country? I thought that Grand Rapids was in the top 10 best. I mean, you could probably be on both. I, I don't know if they're... I, I didn't really like look at the credentials of the guys making the list. Like, so, you know? I just... I just uh, I just saw that scrolling through um, my Google for you page. Nice. You know, because I'm the only human on the planet who actually scrolls through that. Hey! Hey, all of you! Hey, all you people! Hey, all you people! I hey, all you the people first to trick listen I did. to me! It's like, cool. Tony Hawk has... You see them floating. people vanish? Yeah. You've gotta try this sandwich! Hey, no man! <laughs> You gotta try this sandwich. It's no ordinary sandwich. It's Get the, the points tastiest on the board. sandwich yeah. in the sea. Skibbity a doo ba da ba dee ga da ba 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 doo wow yeah. Man, working on that team must have been so much fun. Why did I lose all my speed? I don't know. John Romad is losing momentum. Ow. Nice. We need to play Sonic Riders. Yeah, not I because, play Sonic Riders. Not because it's good, but because I want to play a game with Jet in it. But it is good. I mean, the first one's alright. Yeah, I mean, I never really played the second one. Yeah. I mean, it's just more of the same. Whoa! I can't believe I survived. I can't believe it's not butter. How many times can we make that joke in the life of the channel? I don't know. Oh. Somebody, somebody tally it. If you're watching this video, and, and it's like ten years down the line, and we're no longer recording, like, like gameplay videos 
Please, I don't please want to land tally this trick. it. That looks stupid. I don't want these points. I did. What's I, your favorite cryptid? We didn't. We didn't... I did. It's the fur bearing trout. Oh, oh Followed yeah. by the Suchinoka. Yeah, that's right. Because they. Uh, be also, the not deer. Yeah, that's fair. You know what? You know who's missing from this party? The Ningen. The Ningen. You, you know what other game we played uh, where we talked about all of these cryptids as well as the Michigan Dog Man? Uh, uh, Larry Boy and the Bad Apple. Did we? Yeah. I don't remember. Yeah, that. it was it was pretty close to the end. Sounds fake. Future I don't Nick, believe it. Give us a card for Larry Boy. Um, no one flips the dick like Larry Boy. Did you ever watch? <laughs> I think we've talked about this before. You watched Lost Tapes as a kid, right? Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that was a good show. Yeah. It was Scared terrible. The actually. shit out of me. I I've gone back and watched it. Terrible. Oh, I'm sure it so doesn't bad. hold up. I'm well, sure. It holds up so poorly. Sure All the acting is hey, shit. Hey, he's literally getting a head start. I mean, it's not like it's a race. It's a best trick competition. Well, he's got a... He, he, look, he's already at 418. He had a head start to the best trick. 369, nice. 996. Nice. All right, I see your plan. Yeah. What is your <laughs> seventh favorite Sonic game? Um... <laughs> Probably Sonic Adventure 2. Yes. I, I don't I don't know favorite. the I don't know the six before it, but I'm pretty sure Sonic Adventure 2 is my sure. seventh favorite. Well, you Sonic know game. Sonic Adventure one is before it. Uh, it's it's number two, I think. Okay. What's your favorite? My favorite Sonic Colors. Oh yeah yeah okay you've told me this. Before. Yeah, I really like Sonic Colors. No, we'll have to play that soon. Maybe. We'll have to play that soon. Oh, uh, did you? Uh, we found out. Do, do we want to tell people what we what we oh. planned on? Pla did you just jump that man? I don't know. I just did a backflip though. All right. Cletus is really holding me back right now, and I'm mad about it. Yeah, a little bit. Uh, do you? Do we want to Watch tell the shit. viewers what the? Whoop. Nice. Do we want to tell the viewers what we thought about playing after this, or or do we want to keep it a sweet win? I think it should be a secret. Secret, secret. But I've I will say that I just went and bought it yesterday. Secret, secret. I've got a secret. New product unlock. Nice. Um, how much time we got? I am the modern man. Secret, secret. I've got a secret. All right, I know you what I want to do like a... for the last thing of this episode. Oh yeah, what's the last thing? Uh, it's a secret. Secret, secret. Yeah. I've got a secret. I hate that man. Really? Yes. Oh man. I cannot stand. That's sticks, right? Uh, yes, it is sticks. Yeah, I can't stand them. I'm sailing anyway. The, the reason why I can't stand sticks is because almost all their songs are just two songs smashed together, but the first song is only like 30 seconds long, and it's the better part of the song. <laughs> Set an open course that is, for the virgin seas. That song is a perfect example. On board, I'm a captain, so climb aboard. We sang that for, uh, we had at, um, at, at our school, it was a, it was a, Kind of like a talent show. It wasn't really a talent show. It was just a thing that we would do called Pop Goes the Sailor. And basically the idea, because we were the sailors. Let's go. Nice. Oh, no. Oh, you're dead, dog. You are dead. And ah! <laughs> <laughs> Your fractures have fractures, my dog. Um, but uh, we were we were the sailors. Uh, that was our, that's our mascot or whatever. So you were sailing away. I yeah. get it. At, well, Ow. it's called Pop Goes the Sailors, and that's where the sailors comes in. But it's pop because we would do popular songs. And then, you know, nice. it's a Pop Goes the Weasel joke, I guess. Sure, it. yeah, basically. Um, and uh, we did that song as one of our headliners, and I was front and center stage. That's uh, neat. And the first uh, school performance that I was ever really in, I was terrified. I believe it. Yeah, it was a great time. It was really fun. Cool. Uh... I should have landed that. <laughs> that was I was wild. waiting on bated breath. My breath was baiting. I I'm baiting your breath, dude. Nice. I'm gonna edge it. You could probably get like a you could probably get like a photo challenge in. You um, like a couple minutes. We got a photo challenge off in the distance this way that I'll do. Off in the distance. And you're right. The beginning of that is a uh, is the uh it's, it's the better part of the song. Yeah, the rest of the song sucks. Come down that way. Come down that way. Oh no, not this one. 
That's the same song. No, this this photo challenge. Oh, is this a difficult one? It's the one from the lost episode. Oh, this was the one you were trying yeah, yeah. to do How at the time. Uh, we're gonna you. try it. All right, we're gonna give it a go. Grind the sign and gap the thine. Here we go. What? Bush. That's what it was. The bush. Yeah, the thine bush. What's a what's a um what's like a dad rock band that you actually kind of appreciate? Uh uh Breaking Benjamin. Okay, that's a pretty good one. Yeah, they're they that's actually are great. Um uh uh what are they called? Three Days Grace. Okay. Uh, also good. Um I'm trying to think. There's gotta be more, right? Sure, sure. Let's look up a list uh, of dad rock bands. I don't mind, like, I wouldn't call Bullet For My Valentine dad rock, probably, but, like, they're close. They're very close. Like, they're, they're right on the edge. They're, they're, they're on thin ice about it. <laughs> this you guys are on thin ice. is so Oh, uh, you know what dad rock band I actually kind of like? R.E.M. You would like R.E.M. He's not, like, he's not a great vocalist, but I just, it's, they, their songs are kind of a vibe. Uh, the police are good. Oh, yeah. Don't, I don't stand. I don't listen don't to them. Don't stand it. so. Don't stand so close to me. Um, their uh, drummer, Stuart Copeland, is the uh, guy who did the Spyro sound soundtracks. Oh, he's the, also a really good one. drummer. Yeah, he's crazy. He's an insane musician. He actually considers... Come on! Yes! Nice. Oh, my God! He actually yeah, considers the uh, Spyro series to be some of his best compositional work. Huh. Yeah. Wow, great punch shot. Nice booty shot. Yo, nice booty ride? shot. Uh, how you feel about... Uh, there's no way the killers are dad rock. They're like white people they're, rock. They're skirting the line. How do you feel about Pearl Jam? Uh, hate them. <laughs> <laughs> Bring it. <laughs> how you feel about uh, how you feel about David Bowie? I'm not a big fan. Understandable. How you feel about the Beatles? I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> well, on that note, bring it. Bye.